Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This episode is going to kick off just after we finish rebuilding the carburetors on this CV750. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll link it below. Now the focus of this one is going to revolve around the intake manifolds. So first we're going to boil them in some water to get them softened up, and then I'll work on actually mounting the carburetors and showing some alignment tricks. So be sure to stick around. Enjoy the video. You'll also note that I removed the intake manifolds, so I'm going to actually soak these in my ultrasonic, get them nice and hot. That should soften them up a little bit. And then that will make installing not only the intake manifolds, but the carburetors much easier in conjunction with the fact that with them soft, it should have a better chance of actually being able to clamp and seal, preventing air leaks. So I would actually like to make another video. I wanna try out some wintergreen oil. So I know uh, Doc Jones Garage, he has made a cool video on um, doing the whole wintergreen thing and it looked like it worked fantastic. So I do want to make that an upcoming video. Okay, well I did have these in the ultrasonic for mm, over 20 minutes and, and they did soften up just a little bit, but they could be a lot better. So before I go any further, I wanna try just putting them in boiling water. So just gonna be a good experiment. All right, first one, five minutes. Okay, we have about 30 seconds left. So I also put in a couple rubber pieces here and because I plan on replacing the actual float needles, I wanted to put these in here as an experiment. And now, all of a sudden, all of these springs and plungers have popped back up. So I'm gonna see if I can get these things back in service and clean them up even more. Fun little, fun little thing. All right. Dismiss. There's our five. Yeah, lots of elasticity now. I'd say doing five minutes would be all you all you really need. So I'm gonna toss the rest of these in here. I mean, I can't. I can hardly collapse that one. All right, I'm gonna toss these in. Oops. Crank it back up. up to six minutes and start. So, fun little experiment. There's five for these guys. Okay. The secondary operation I'm doing here, I'm just hitting them with a little WD-40. Why is it hot? While these things are still hot, I'm going to go ahead and get them back on the bike. 
and not freaking take out of rags. Now on your CB750s, there's really only two different kinds of intake manifolds. This one has a three and a two on it. This one has a one and a four. Your number faces up and it's on the actual carburetor side. So the way you do that on number four, four faces up, goes over here like that. And if you want to use it on number one side, flip it over, goes over there. So right now we need a number three, get our number three, boom, just like that. These are still reasonably soft from last night, but we're going to put a little bit more heat to them. See, the correct angle of attack is directly where the camera is right now. All right, they're in. No pry bars or anything like that. Okay, it's time to put our air box back on the bike, and before we do this, we need to put our new intake manifolds on this thing. So these are the air box to carburetor trumpets. I actually picked these uh, up in person at Barber Vintage Fest, but these are much softer than what came out. The other ones were just hard as a rock. So we will get these things clocked exactly how they need to go. So these actually extend inside your air box and that's like your velocity stack right there so pretty easy install just throw these in like that pop the lip in and then we just rotate as we need and then you're left with the intake trumpet right there Yeah, and these are an actual Honda part, so they're you know, still being produced, which is nice. So you know they're going to fit perfectly. Like I said, take this, put that in there. Pull it in and rotate. And of course, before you put these things on, don't forget about your clamps.
Maybe I was right. Man, I just, I can't quite tell. <laughs> These have to be the right intakes. It's got to angle up pretty far. And to be fair, these are the easiest air boxes to get on and off. I'm just fighting the intakes because I don't have an alignment mark on them right now. Something is weird. It's weird as it came off the bike. What is going on here? I have never encountered this kind of oddball fitment issue. The only thing I can guess right now is maybe I could rotate the manifolds just a hair and maybe angle the carbs down just a bit. It's, I, I know it's the right manifolds. I know they're clocked correctly. This is the air box that came off of it. These are the intake manifolds that were on here. So I don't know what's going on. Very strange. It just doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to positively seat. All right, checks out the far two cylinders or the intake manifolds. Those are number one and number two. Compare those to three and four. Notice a different angle. I just loosened the inside clamp, the one towards the head, and rotated them ever so slightly. And that angle is all it will take. You notice there's a slightly lower pitch. That's all it's going to take. So we will go ahead and loosen these two and then we'll rotate them slightly. That should allow us to fit the air box to the carbs. I'm feeling confident with that. So before I tighten these down, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of toss the air box in here and we'll see how different it is. Yep, that's how it's, that's how it should fit. Okay. Now we know. I go ahead and reposition my clamps on here. Cause I'd flipped them, just you know, swinging for the fences. Well, just like anybody else, I make mistakes too, and that's evidenced by me mounting the intake manifolds clocked just slightly wrong, which made a big difference for mounting the air box. So if you guys are having fitment issues, definitely check this video out. Maybe consider your intake manifolds as being the culprit. So hopefully you guys liked this video and picked up some tips and tricks. I thought it was really cool to boil these things and soften them up, and I do plan on making a video on the wintergreen oil eventually. I don't know when that'll happen. But look for the next video on this bike being the electrical on it as I dig in and get one step closer to firing this thing up. I hope to have this thing running here very shortly from the time of this recording. 
So anyway, again, I hope you guys like this one and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.